What's up guys, my name is Gabe and today I will be reviewing a book and this book I have completely read and finished and I just thought I would like to share it with you guys because you know my fans and my audience are very well educated and smart people and uh, I just feel like you guys should be aware of what I'm reading and I just want to put you on you know but anyways let's get started so this this book is called The Raisin in the Sun. And it's written by Lorraine Hansberry, who unfortunately died at a young age of 34 due to cancer, which is very unfortunate. But taking a look at this book, it is a realistic historical fiction. So it's based on real events and historic events, but it's completely fabricated. And the time is set post-World War II um, you know, there's still segregation and racism, sexism going on. And this African-American family, you know, they are facing all these challenges mentally and physically. And just being able to persevere really pays off in the end is really the main goal of this book. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'll be going more into depth and explaining it. So, uh, it's a family of five living in a very tiny apartment, one or two bedrooms. And, you know, you got Mama, and then you got Ruth and Walter. Ruth and Walter are married, and Walter is the son of Mama. And you got Benita. Benita is also, is the daughter of Mama. She's about 20 years old, and Ruth and Walter are about mid-30s. And then Ruth, are, oh, Ruth and Walter, my bad. Ruth and Walter have a son named Travis, who's about 9 to 11 years old. And, you know, they're all living in this very old apartment and you know it's just not good and mama does end up receiving a check of a hundred ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars yikes ten thousand dollars in the mail and right now she's sort of at a conflict with it now i'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you what she spends it on because I want y'all to find out for yourselves. So go ahead and read the book if you have it. You know, if you're just wandering your local Target and happen to, you know, just wander around the book section, go ahead and check it out. See if it's there. But uh, yeah, she receives a check and she's a little conflicted. And this book focuses on challenges. So on the outside, it focuses on racism and discrimination even sexism as Benita who is this well-educated girl wants to pursue being a doctor and even gets discouraged by her own brother who tells her basically not to and Benita is sort of this rebellious girl woman rebellious woman she goes to college and she doesn't like the fact that she doesn't like the idea of assimilating to America's standards, their way of eating, the way they look, the way they talk, the way they walk, the way they dress, everything. So she wants to go back to her cultural heritage and her roots and really be who she was meant to be and really bring pride in her family and just where they came from. And Walter, on the other hand, he is this man who has these big aspirations. You know, he wants to make it big. And he wants this business that will be successful just so he can provide for his family. But he's just so focused on it that he's lost track of the present. And then Mama and Ruth, they both just want something better for themselves. They want the immediate, the immediate change. They want a better, bigger house where everyone can all live together peacefully. And, you know, the house is just fits perfect for them. And I'm not going to tell you what she spends it on, and but there are the options right there. Maybe she spends it on more than one option. But yeah, that's about it for the summary. And if you were to ask me, hey man, reading the entire book, what are two things that you can recall that represent this book so well? Not characters, but things. Well, to answer your question, to answer your your good that's a good question and that's a good question i would have to say mama's plant and beneath this hair and i'll go more to depth so mama's plant is this this poor little thing in the apartment it gets no sunlight yet it still decides to grow and it still tries to grow with the sunlight it gets and 
it's sort of a metaphor to their family and how they live. They are living in these terrible conditions and these, these, these things that they experience is just something that they should not be going through, you know? Just like how the plant is. The plant gets little to no sunlight, but still decides to live. They decide to persevere and get out of the mud, you know? And they really just want to be successful and they just want to have a good life for themselves and their children and just take care of each other. And you can see as the mood changes and shifts from this negative attitude they have in the household built up to more of this positive reinforced attitude as they receive the money and now have the opportunity to do something new with the money. And then of course, beneath this hair throughout the entire book she's trying to find her cultural heritage and just her background and where she comes from and she just wants to relive those roots of her ancestors and she ends up cutting off all her hair because the way she would um style it was the one of the white folks and later on her boyfriend would help her come to realize and guide her, mentor her to the state of discovering who she really is and where she comes from because he also shares that feeling and knows that feeling. So it's a really, really inspiring book for people who just want to, who are lost, you know. Uh, I th recommend it for young teens my age, young adults, teenagers, you know, because during this time, we are trying to discover everything about ourselves and our identity. And we have all of these things we can relate to, you know, we dream of being successful and rich and we dream of, you know, just going back to our looking back and seeing where we came from. So really, it's a good book. And, you know, some some quotes, man, the way she just writes this book, figurative language, man, like right here, personification really describes the couch that Travis has to sleep on right here. Personification, the pattern of the couch upholstery has to fight to show itself. Really, that's the quote and it really, really gets you working and imagining, man, what has this couch been through, you know? The couch has been through everything, how old and crusty it is and Travis got to sleep on that, like, Poor, poor kid, you know, but, and then later on towards the end, Walter gains his manhood, you know, he was this man that was an alcoholic, and he wasn't a good father, to be honest, but later on, when everything changes, Mama tells Benita, he finally came into his manhood today, didn't he? Kind of like a rainbow after the rain, which is a good way to describe the way Walter has changed, he's changed from this absence of a father to more present and he's more he puts the foot down really and really changes everything for the family positively even though in the book spoiler alert something bad goes wrong but you know it comes in clutch again and yeah but um that's really about all about the whole summary of the book, you know, overview, some quotes and everything. So also in that one about his manhood, that was, that's got to be my favorite quote of all time. Really explains the transition of a man, of a, of a broken man to a new man, a better man. But yeah, personally, I thought this book was, um, it was a pretty good book. Um, I'm not into reading all that much, but you know, education is education. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, if it was, uh, something else more, and more enjoyable to me, probably would like it, but from an unbiased standpoint, good book, she wrote it really well, and yeah, um, but anyway, with that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my other video about deforestation, hope you enjoy content like this, if you do, hit that follow button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below something you'd like to see next, you know, but other than that, thanks for watching, see ya.